2 Timothy 3.16, that's the scripture that we're going to focus in on this evening. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of, man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. All scripture, all scripture, all means all. In talking to some people, uh, they tend to believe certain parts of the word of God, while other parts of parts of the word of God, they dismiss as, they dismiss it. Um, but the word of God uh, is to be accepted. We are to accept the whole word of God as the inspired word of God, giving account of what has happened and also what will happen. But what has happened in the past and what will happen in the past, um, even those accounts that seem impossible, such and examples would be such like Moses and the Red Sea, Peter walking on water, Noah, Noah and the ark, Jonah in the in the belly of the great fish. The, uh, these are also to be accepted as the divine word of God. It is The word of God is given, all scripture is given by inspiration, meaning it is God breathed. It is God breathed. And it came from the heart of God. It came from inspiration of God. It is not um, it is not uh, simply the uh, from the what's the word from the um, um, imagination of man it is not from the imagination of man the Bible says holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost holy men and the Bible is very specific with words every word is there for a reason holy men mean these men walked with God they were in fellowship with God they were in sync with God they heard from God they were obedient and submitted to God and God used them as instruments to pin down pin down his inspired words to get it to the hands of man to read um, so it is a uh, it is not from the imagination of man, but it is from the heart and mind of God. It is God breathed? Second uh, Peter also goes. I'm sorry. Second Timothy also goes on to say that it is profitable, meaning it is effective, useful, beneficial to accomplishing its purposes. Uh, for doctrine, it is profitable for doctrine. Now, what does that mean? Doctrine means instructions in the fundamental principles and teachings of the kingdom of God. When you come into the kingdom of God, uh, there are common beliefs that every true Christian has. We're not going to agree on everything, but the the foundational principles, the, those are the doctrines. And that is, that will be common. A common belief should be the common belief of every Christian, such as um, the doctrine of marriage, the Godhead giving, the, the gospel of Jesus, um, the rapture. Um, so, when you are converted into the body of Christ, it's imperative that you begin to read the word of God or getting in, get into uh, Bible classes for Bible study, uh, meditating on the word of God so that the word of God, so that the word of God can be taught to you, that you can learn the ways and the principles, the precepts of the kingdom of God. It is profitable also for reproof. Reproof means to chastise or, or to convict or to convince. 
no matter how talented an orator or a speaker is, you you cannot change a man. You cannot convert a man. Um, the Bible says, can a leopard change his spots? It's a rhetorical question and the answer is no. A leopard cannot change his spots, so neither can a man change his ways. Only the word of God can do that. And yet we see, I've seen men and women that that reject God, they're agnostic or atheist, and one day, and then the next day, they are on fire for Jesus. They are gung-ho, they are living, they're running their race, they're focused, they're in church, they're in Bible study, they're living, complete 360. How is that? Because the word of God convicted and converted them. The Spirit of God and the Word of God convicted, converted, and, and changed that man or woman. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing, it is, but it is the power of the Word of God. The Word of God can turn a pimp into a pastor, a thief into the church treasurer, treasurer, a whore into an evangelist. It can turn a liar into a teacher. The word of God can completely transform you. It is profitable for correction. What does correction mean? Correction means correction. No, don't do this. Do that. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't have said it this way. You could have possibly have said it that way. Go this way instead of that way. Um, Girl, pull up your pants. <laughs> you know, uh, the word of God corrects. It corrects. It. The word of God corrects us. Um, and it corrects us in righteousness. God is holy. So he's, he's teaching his children how to walk in sanctification. Not perfection. Sanctification. It is progress over perfection. We're on that road, that walk of faith, day by day, the, the, the uh, light of the righteous shineth brighter and brighter unto the perfect day from glory to glory. It is, uh, but it is God doing the work in us as we read the word of God the word of God is, is uh, getting on in, inside of us and it is doing, it is, it is equipping us. It is doing its perfect and complete work in us. So it is not perfection. The righteous fall seven times, but they get back up. It is not perfection, but it is progress. It is a walk of sanctification. It says uh, that the man of God may be perfect. Now that word perfect, a better a better in uh translation will be complete, um, fitted, and ready. The word of God equips us for and what is it equipped us from? From all the fiery darts of the enemy. It also equips us from the lusts of our own flesh. It equips us to um, walk upright, to walk in righteousness. So the word of God equips, it fits us, um, and it makes us ready. Colossians 2.10 says, and ye are complete in him. And ye are complete in him. So the word of God gets us, gets us suited and booted to go out from our in our day-to-day -day lives and to experience growth um uh, to walk successfully the word of god will cause us to be effective to be successful uh, and to be used by god the word of the god is will cause us to be to walk uh, in a victorious uh, walk to walk in victory as we study the word of God as we're meditating on the on the word of God we are being washed the scripture says we're being washed washed by the word of God and as time goes on we will notice progress 
we will notice change. We will be developing into a mature man and woman of God. And the process um, is called sanctification. So that is 2 Timothy 3.16. The purpose of the word of God is to grow us up in Christ, to develop us um, so that we may walk in victory. If you're not studying the word of God, start out by maybe 15 minutes a day, get committed to it and, and get maybe 15 minutes in prayer, 15 minutes in the word of God. And over time, when you look back over your life and over your progress, you're gonna notice change.